Hi guys, this is Amr from Certified Power. Today I'll be showing you how to trim your feeder, also referred to as an auger, on a Freedom 2. We recommend using at least two people for this job. We recommend using the appropriate personal protective equipment. That includes, but is not limited to, eye protection, gloves, and steel-toed footwear. It is also optional to have a tachometer at your disposal for a more accurate trim if you are running an open loop system and your feeder does not have a sensor. It is not required to load a truck with material. However, loading the truck to capacity before this process will result in a more accurate trim. Make sure your truck engine is operating at 1200 to 1400 RPM. We want to make sure we have enough hydraulic flow to run our functions. To turn on your Freedom 2, press the lane knob. To trim our feeder, we need to give the device technician access. Hold the mold slash menu button for about 2 seconds. This will take you to the main menu. Tap on User Level. Select Technician from the drop-down menu. Refer to your supervisor for your technician level password. My device is at factory default, so the password has not been set up yet. After you have inputted the password, tap OK. Select Feeder Setup. Next, select Calibration. Tap on Valve Setup. First, we want to trim our maximum feeder output, so select Max Trim Cal. For closed loop systems that have a sensor, monitor your pulses per minute count as well as the actual feeder shaft. Your max trim is the threshold at which the pulses per minute count maxes out despite increasing the output. Keep in mind that you could exceed the maximum rotational capabilities of the component, so visually inspect the feeder shaft after every output increase or decrease. Hit start. Material will begin dispensing. We recommend setting the spinner to a low output so that it is rotating but slowly. Adjust your maximum trim to around the point that shows the highest possible pulses per minute or that the feeder is visibly running at a maximum rotational speed. For a more accurate trim, we recommend overshooting the threshold, then ramping it back down, then back up again to the threshold about two or three times. We can see here that the pulses per minute count maxes out at about 17,700 pulses per minute. This is an estimate of the maximum trim threshold. For open loop systems with no pulses per minute count, have an assistance point a tachometer at the feeder shafts from a safe distance. The maximum trim is the point where the RPMs stop increasing when you raise the output. Tap Save to save your settings. Now to set our minimum trim, tap on Min Trim Cal. Set the minimum trim to the minimum point where the feeder is rotating without stalling. Hit Start. We recommend setting the spinner to a low output. Adjust your feeder output to the lowest consistent pulses per minute count. Visually inspect that the feeder is also running without any jerking motion. If you are using an open loop system without feedback, 
This is the point where the feeder is rotating slowly without stalling. You want to ramp your output down, then back up past the lowest trim point, then back down again to the minimum threshold. Tap on save. Your feeder has now been successfully trimmed. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call on the number provided on the screen or visit our website at www.certifiedpowersolutions.com.